Today we're talking about the Lightning Zap. The Lightning Zap is a soft wash dilution and delivery machine. So you can put your raw Lightning Cleanse, which is a sodium hypochlorite based biocide into your tank here. You pull it in raw and then this uh, D3 dosatron then will dilute it and deliver it to the job site wherever you're working. It is fully adjustable from four to one right down to 20 to one. 20 to one, you're gonna be using it on fascias and soffits and some industrial cladding in, in high temperatures and right down to four to one for some really heavy staling on some render. Basically all you do is, is plug in your water and the dosatron will dilute your concentrated chemical in proportion to the amount of water that goes through it. Whatever flow you put into it, you will get the dilution which is set on the dosatron. In this scenario, we're just plugged into a garden tap. We have four bar of pressure. You need about two and a half bar of pressure for it to work really well and it's in decent flow. Most household plies are, are adequate enough. You can use a pump system. You can send the water just to your rinsing, rinsing lance here, okay? Or you can have it in the off position where it does nothing. Um, and then you can send it to the dosatron. And I'll go have a look at the dosatron there now and I'll show you how that works and how to adjust it. So say you're on the job site and you, you've plugged in your water, you've got decent water, water supply. Now I want to go spray, spray the, um, some render. And what you do, you'd plug in, you normally plug in 10 or 20 meter long uh, whip hose into here and then plug in your lance. Here we go, this is just one of our low level lances with a, with a 10 tip in it. And you can just start spraying, pull the trigger and this will then start diluting your concentrated chemical in proportion to the amount of water that goes in. So this at the moment is set to 25% or four to one. If we stop it, turn off, the, turn off the dosatron to release the pressure. We can now adjust the gauge here. And you just do that by releasing this locking nut and then decrease the adjuster. So now we're at 20% or five to one. And we keep going, we're at 15% and we'll keep going to 10% or 10 to one, all the way down to 5% or 20 to one. If we turn on the, the dosatron again, it is that simple to change the dilution that comes out of the end. So now this is diluting at 20 to one, whereas before it was at four to one. Here you'll see the uh, pressure gauge. Um, all this pressure gauge does is we use it for troubleshooting and it tells you, it lets you know what the, the pressure is in the, uh, in the system. Um, so at the moment you can see it's reading zero. Um, if I plug in the water supply, you still see it's reading zero. So therefore we say, okay, let's give it some water. So we turn it on. Okay, and we can see there now, once the dosatron pressurizes, it will go up to about four bar. There we go, lovely. Um, um, and that is connected to, to this fella here, which is a, a pressure restrictor. Um, it's not a flow restrictor, but it is a pressure restrictor. So it should your, 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 your water supply have a spike in, in pressure, uh, this stops this from getting damaged. So this will restrict the pressure to five bar and stop this getting, uh, get, getting, getting damaged. All the other pipe work is made out of stainless steel, which is really, um, and, and 316 stainless steel, which is really um, strong and robust. Um, there's a union here, a real simple uni union for if you ever have to service the dosatron, that gets split here and it lets you take out the dosatron and service it should it need to be done um, or repaired for whatever reason. Yeah, I'll just uh, reiterate when, when you're adjusting this, you have to um, turn off the dosatron, release the pressure, and then you can adjust it. So that's really quite important, people. Okay. You'll find if you don't do that, this will get tight. And if you start tightening that when it's under pressure, you'll break it. The hose comes just from the tap. You can plug it into here. You'll also see this little connection here. And all this does, it's filled the tank. If you want to clean out the tank, plug it in there, it's open flow, and you just plug that in there, and it fills up the tank. Get this baby going, plug it into here, and then turn on the dosatron. Okay, so that's in the off position. This is dosatron on, so therefore, we will then be able to spray, spray. 
Okay. That's the doshan working. In this position, the dosatron will eventually, when the pressure's gone, stop working. You can see. And then, but you will have your fresh water lance, which is here, lead flashings, customer's plant lives. It comes with a little shooter tip or the fan. The fan is here, it's really good. Rinse it down the machine, rinse it down, you know, the, the pass. You know, if you have any spillages, at least you can really quickly and easily rinse it down so you're not leaving clean streaks on your customer's property. Um, in this position here, you can do both. Like John Wayne, quick draw, draw. There you are. There you go. You can do. You can. You can. You can double gun it. Double gun it. That's a word, isn't it? There we go. Don't laugh at me. Okay. And then to finish off, then we just um, turn it to the off position here, and that is it. That is it off, and nothing will work. And we always turn it to off before you put it away and depressurize the dosatron, because as you can see, it is off. But as it's still pressurized, there's still stuff coming out. So we always say turn it off before you put it away and depressurize everything and away you go. Here we have our dynamic uh, QR code. Um, we have one of these QR codes on all our, of our larger soft washing equipment. And it, like I say, it's dynamic, so it's, so it's always changing with the most up-to-date information for you, whether it be dilution guides, videos. Put your camera up to it, and it will take you to the, to the website and some really useful information. So, um, I think that about covers everything. Please let us know in the comments below if you want any more information, anything we've missed. Uh, but I think we've covered everything. Um, really big, good piece of equipment, and that is the lightning zap. Uh, thanks for watching. Like I say, leave us an old comment or a like, and uh, happy soft washing. <laughs>